So this video is on how to do the wave worksheet and two things you notice is that right here we have the equation for wave speed which is wavelength times frequency and the other important thing is this line here the time from the beginning to the end of the wave train in each situation is one second. In other words all these waves were generated in one second. So the first question is how many waves are in there in this wave train so let's count. One two, three, four, five. So, and it's very important to note that you can have half waves, quarter waves, whatever. So, but we have five whole waves. Now the next thing is wavelength. And there's a couple different ways you can measure wavelength. We're going to measure them, as you might note, in centimeters. You can measure them peak to peak, or you can measure them from the beginning of one wave to the end of the other. So let's try that. And i got to rearrange a little bit here. Okay, we have to start at zero. And that looks to be about 2.7 centimeters. So 2.7 centimeters. Okay, the next question is amplitude. Some of the waves down later down the page are quite squishy and the midline isn't very apparent. So what I'm going to do to measure amplitude is make a line along the troughs and make another line.